Hey, what's up? My name is Samuel Leeds. I'm a very successful property investor and I'm on a mission to help as many people to achieve financial freedom through property as possible. This year alone, currently, we've helped 71 people become financially free in property, which is just incredible. And one of the questions I get asked all the time is, how do you stay motivated for success? Because I think that the skill in property is really important, but also the motivation to actually take action on the skill is also just as important. And many people are looking for the detail in what to go and do, but the thing is, unless you're motivated, you're never gonna actually do it anyway. So on this video, I wanted to just answer the question, what keeps me so motivated? What gets me up, in, up every morning excited? How do I have so much energy? And hopefully that will you know, help you guys in your journey. So I think firstly is willpower. Everyone says, I need more willpower. You know, I don't believe in willpower, I believe in why power. What I mean by why power is a reason for why you wanna succeed. So rather than just thinking, I wanna do a, I wanna get a property deal. You know, I really wanna get a property deal. But then it's like, oh, can I be bothered to pick up the phone to the agent? Can I be bothered to go and view the deal? Can I be bothered to go to the networking event? Rather than, rather than the why being, I want a property deal, the why should be something that's actually far greater than that. So when I'm mentoring people, I'll often ask them, I'll ask them why, like seven times. Why do you want me to mentor you? Because I want to learn about property. Why? Because I want to be financially free. Why? Because I want to quit my job. Why? Because I'm tired of being someone's <laughs> I'm tired of, waking up at 6.30 in the morning. I just want to wake up when I finish sleeping. Okay, so now it goes a little bit deeper. And, 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 and then when you can get that why and remind yourself of why you're really wanting to do this, that helps. So I think for me, I have a dream board, which is all the things that I want to achieve, all the people that I want to help, the real true reasons, you know, spending time with my family, um, going out to villages in Africa where people have nothing and helping educate and support and provide, provide practically for those. But like, this is stuff that's making me want to do it. Leaving a legacy, the kick that I get from helping other people achieving property. When I've got the why real strong, then what happens is it helps me and I don't suddenly need the willpower. So I think that's, that's the first thing. Second thing is, how do you stay motivated? It's all about environment. Like, if you are around people who are unmotivated, boring people, doom and gloom, negative, then that's exactly what you're gonna be like because you're in that environment. And I don't know if you've ever had it where you've been in a really good mood, everything's going great, and you're laughing and you're joking, and everything's fun, and then you walk into a different room and the atmosphere is totally different, and it just, and it just, it's suddenly, it's just like a balloon being popped, you know, just, and, and, and suddenly your whole energy changes, the atmosphere is different because the environment is different. And you cannot be that person, you cannot be that happy, silly person in that room, because it, 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 it's just not right, it's not the right environment. And in the same way, I think if you wanna be motivated, if you wanna be positive, if you wanna be driven, if you wanna be an action taker, what you've gotta do is you've gotta put yourself in the environment where other people are doing what you wanna do. So find the rooms where people are who you wanna be like, and, and, and hang around those people. And I heard someone once say that if you put a baby shark, like an eight inch shark into a, uh, a fish bowl, two things will happen. It will either die or it will just stay eight inches forever. So you get, imagine that an adult shark, eight inches long, it's, it's just insane. But in the same way, if, if you don't put yourself into a bigger environment where people think bigger and take bigger risks and take bigger action, if you stay in a small-minded environment, then that's what you're gonna be like forever. So I think the second thing is just get yourself into a different environment. Get around people that are successful, get around people that are cheering you on. And I think if you're in a good environment, it just, it just makes you, um, it makes it much easier to take action and do things. When we run the Property Investors Crash Course, which is a two-day program where we teach people how to do property, people are literally at that program making more deals and making more phone calls and booking more viewings than they have done in the previous six months. And the reason is, is because the atmosphere is so easy to make calls to agents. The atmosphere is so easy to put offers forward because everyone's doing it, but at home, in the different atmosphere, it can be totally different. So make your home the kind of environment and the kind of atmosphere where it's easy to win. That'll be the second thing. Third thing is to act in spite of your mood. So believe it or not, I don't always feel like being really energetic, taking massive action, even doing videos. 
I, I don't always feel like it. But what you'll find is, when you just take action and step out in spite of how you feel, you very quickly get in the mood. So, uh, so let's say this video, let's say I don't feel like doing this video, but if I say, you know, it doesn't matter how I feel, I've made a commitment, I'm just gonna put the camera on, sit in the chair and start talking. And then what happens is very quickly, I'll just very quickly get in the mood because I'm doing it anyway. I don't feel like doing a run, but what you'll find is when you put your trainers on and just step outside the house and start, very quickly, you, it just happens. And suddenly you just find yourself getting in the mood. And I think in the same way is fill your diary up with stuff that you know you need to do, even if you don't feel like it. And, and, and be disciplined because when you start doing it, it, it it'll, it'll be, it, what will happen is it'll become habitual, it'll become part of your routine. And part of my routine is taking massive action, is taking, um, is taking risk, is putting offers on properties, is speaking on stage, is doing, part of my routine is doing videos, putting them out there. So how to stay motivated, don't rely on feeling motivated rely on being dedicated to take action because of your why, because of your reason, and get in the right environments around the right people so that it makes it a whole lot easier as well. Those are my secrets to how I stay motivated and how I continue taking massive action. And, and even, even, even though I don't need to, even though I've got a really good property portfolio, I don't need to do these videos, I don't need to run a training business, I don't need to keep buying more houses, I'm doing it because I'm driven, um, I, I'm driven to succeed way more than I currently am because I'm in the environment and I'm hanging around people that are more successful than I am and I've got a big reason where I want to do something bigger and I want to leave the world better than I found it and, and, and I want to grow something that's greater than me and outlives me and I'm going to do that even if I don't feel like it and that's my secrets. Also, I think it's really helpful to inspire you to see other people and to see what other people are doing and how they're killing it. I find that really motivates me as well. So if you wanna watch a 21 year old absolutely killing it in property, I'd really suggest you check out the interview that I did with James Armstrong, which is right here. Also, if you wanna spend two days at the Property Investors Crash Course, tickets on the house, get yourself booked on right here. But whatever you do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch more videos, you never miss one, you can do that right here. Turn the notification bell on. I'll see you next time.